Hello, this is Enterprise TV. Transport Association Economic Outlook report that the delay in economic improvement in Africa is hindering the financial performance of the continent's airline. But in spite of these, there is an anticipated 8% growth in air traffic and capacity expansion of 7.5% in 2018. The United States of America ramped up crude oil production by 10% this year to about 11 million barrels per day. United States to unseat Russia and Saudi Arabia as the world leading oil producer. America has not been able to unseat Russia and Saudi Arabia since 1975. Oil production in the U.S. slipped but didn't collapse completely. In 2015, Saudi Arabia led OPEC and launched a price war, and this led to a massive supply of crude oil crash from around $100 a barrel to $26 a barrel. Felipe Cotillo's $160 million euro deal to join Barcelona is likely to unravel a series of big money transfers, not least as Liverpool seek to reinvest the proceeds. Neither club has officially confirmed or refused the deal. The membership's aim, in line with many stories, is the French worldwide ahead Thomas Lama, a part of the spectacular Monaco staff that reached the Champions League semi finals 12 months, however, has been disconnected. Astana bid a 92 million euro for 22 year old Lama, which was rejected in the summer time transfer window, and the participant is reportedly keen to work with Liverpool supervisor John Jane Club. Victims of the Nigerian Briafia civil war said the federal government is yet to pay them more than two months after agreement to pay the 88 billion naira for their compensation. The government had in terms of agreement before the Equus Court of Justice in Abuja on October 30, 2017, stressed that while 50 billion naira compensation would be paid to the true victims of the civil war that occurred between 1967 and 1970. Also, it was said that 38 billion naira would be paid to contractors for total and complete the mining and destruction of abandoned bombs and landmines within the regions. The government had before the ECOWAS court said it would pay the compensation within 45 days from the day the consent judgment was entered in the matter. A newly registered civil society group Accountable Leadership for Better Nigeria Initiative said that the plan to act the price of petroleum products is absurd. The group said this in a statement jointly issued by Ogochuku Poor, its director of media and communication, and signed by Remy Hadibayo, the president. They expressed worry that lack of clarity on the real cause of the lingering petroleum scarcity could lead to instability in fuel prices, which would take its toll on Nigerians. Tanzania's central bank has cancelled license for five banks operating in the country and placed them under receivership. The Bank of Tanzania BOT said the lenders breached core capital rule. The banks are Convenant Bank for Women, Efata Bank Limited, Jombe Community Bank Limited, Meru Community Bank Limited, and Kangara Farmers Cooperative Bank Limited. The move comes three weeks after President John Magufuli ordered the central bank to tighten controls on the movement of hard currency and take swift action against failing banks in a bid to tackle financial crimes and protect the local chilling currency. Hello, this is Enterprise TV.